Thank you so much, Car. Just a horrible story. And yeah. six survivors are being tr treated at a hospital in Mission Viejo. That's where KCAL News reporter Tina Patel continues our live team coverage. Tina? Well, we just got an update from UCI Medical Center. They tell us that overnight one of the patients that had been brought to the trauma center here was actually transferred over to their facility. But again, still six people being treated after the shooting. The Orange County Fire Authority tells us that five of those victims were, who were taken from the scene had gunshot wounds. It's not clear exactly what injuries the other person may have been suffering from. They tell us two of the patients were in critical condition when they were taken. The other four are unstable. We are trying to get updates on their conditions this morning. Now, today I talked to a man who has been a regular at Cook's Corner for years. He said that he heard one of the injured was a staff member there, a cook. He was shot in the arm. They still don't know if it was a stray bullet or if that cook was actually targeted or not. But what he wanted to talk to me about was Cook's Corner. He says even though it is a biker bar, everyone who worked there and frequented there considered themselves part of the family. And he says that's why this morning it is still such a shock to think that something so violent would happen there. We're like, wait a minute, cooks? No way. I mean, it just, it, it's like this sanctum that you feel that you're in, you know, when you're at cooks and, and you're safe. Now, State Senator Dave Min released a statement that reads in part, our district is one of the safest areas in the country, and yet we too are repeatedly afflicted with a scourge of mass shootings, an office park in Orange, a church in Laguna Woods, a bar in Tribuco Canyon. My heart breaks for the families and loved ones of the victims. We cannot rest until we end gun violence in this country. And I just got off the phone with the head of a nonprofit called Trauma Intervention Program. They are often called in when there are cases like this to help lend support to victims, their families, their witnesses. The woman didn't want to go into specifics. She just says that they have been busy all night kind of reaching out, offering their support. Unfortunately, we have had tragedies in the past, and so they're doing their best to try to help navigate it for those that are just now kind of in shock trying to figure out what do they do. We'll send it back to you. Mm. Great to hear that they're there for support. This is a really tough situation. Thank you so much, Tina.